Okay, so I wanted to do a different type of video here this time. Um, what I want to talk about is this new Raspberry Pi microcontroller that they're coming out with. I don't quite get why it, it is going to exist. Like, I don't get it. It is not a bad value for what you get at that price. They are, they're obviously utilizing the fact that they will sell a crap load of these just on the fact that it's a Raspberry Pi. But why am I, I think, I don't get it. It, it. I think a lot of people are gonna leave pretty disappointed in what they get from this. Like, when I think a Raspberry Pi, I think a computer. Even if it's a crappy computer, I think a full-fledged computer. But this really, it's not a computer from what I can tell. This is more of an ARM microcontroller. So I think what's gonna happen is a lot of people are gonna buy it thinking that they can do things with this like they would a Raspberry Pi and it's not gonna work. What's gonna also happen is that they're gonna have a big SEO type of problem. So what I mean by this is that when you go to actually do something with this Raspberry Pi Pico, you're going to find a bunch of articles about the Raspberry Pi Zero or the Raspberry Pi Small or something like that. Basically, I think Google's gonna have a hard time delineating articles from a normal Raspberry Pi to a Raspberry Pi Pico. Okay, I think this is gonna have a weird knock-on effect for people that are more like creating tutorials and whatnot that are trying to you know, live that YouTube grind. Like, why would I try to invest in the SEO? Like, I don't think you're gonna get great SEO with this versus like having a, t versus having a tutorial with a normal Arduino. Like, if I have tutorial A that is controlling a relay with A, a Raspberry Pi Pico, or B, an Arduino, I think you're gonna get better SEO doing the Arduino version versus doing this version. Now, I do like a bunch of things. It's got a crap load of like SBI, I squared C, and all sorts of crap like that. But I'm just kind of left with this spot where I'm like, yeah, but what can I do with this? that I couldn't just do with a normal Arduino. Like, the things I'm seeing even shown in their uh, little example guide are like a uh, dot matrix display, and like you can do that with an Arduino. You can do practically all the normal stuff they're showing off is special for this with an Arduino. So like, why would I want to invest in this and that kind of brings me to the documentation. One of the things they're selling on this is that it's gonna have really the Raspberry Pi standard of documentation. Well, I don't, I'm, I'm hesitant on that because what, when I think of documentation for these kinds of things, what I really think is of these user forms and whatnot that have practically done any project that you can imagine. Like the forms for the Raspberry Pi forms has practically anything you can imagine on there. Um, and the Arduino already has this built in. They already have decades of form posts now about, hey, these Arduinos are great. This is what you can do. This is what I did. This is how I'm using it. And now the Raspberry Pi people are gonna have this kind of weird bastard child of a product that doesn't have that, but they're claiming it has great documentation when in reality it doesn't have that documentation. This is like a direct competitor to an Arduino. Now, okay, I'm left confused. Normally I consider like a Raspberry Pi and an Arduino to be secondary competitors to each other. The primary audience for an Arduino, right? If I'm going to buy an Arduino, they choose between, a direct competitor for the Uno would be choosing to buy from the Arduino Foundation or buying from a Chinese reseller. And then secondary competition to them would be different types of controllers. So like 
buying the app mill directly from like Mauser would be a secondary and like a Raspberry Pi kind of also falls in this category where now this product kind of competes more directly with them and it's kind of confusing as to why they would want to do that. So the final thing I wanted to kind of think about when I looked at this product is let's take a look to the past. So what have we had in the past? Well, in the but you've had Arduino, obviously. So that was a $25 board that basically allowed you to get into electronics. And then before that, you had the uh, basic stamp, or I believe it was a PIC basic stamp, which allows you to use basic on like a really cheap microcontroller. So I guess what I see here is the reason why Arduino basically superseded the PIC stamp they got a much better form of documentation. They had just a lot better projects, better uh, programming IDE and things like that to basically work with their microcontroller. And it didn't matter that the, the basic stamp was so much cheaper than the Arduino. And in fact, one of the big selling points initially of the Arduino was that this is open source, this is uh, made in Italy, it's made ethically, like this is a product that you can be proud to actually give to someone and it's not a piece of garbage. And yeah, it costs 25 bucks. Like, so it just seems weird to me that like Raspberry Pi is coming in with a much better priced competitor when the main factor differentiation in this segment wasn't ever about the price. Like I think for most people, they don't really care that they're paying the price difference between $5 and $25. And if they did, they could just go and buy one of the Chinese clones of the Arduino and then still get it for possibly less than they would for a Raspberry Pi Pico. So I'm just kind of lost on why they decided to make this. I'm sure I'll be proven wrong and they'll probably sell a billion and it'll become the standard of everything, but I'm just kind of lost on it. So if you have any ideas on why I'm an idiot or why this is gonna work, please leave a comment down below and if you want to find out the next thing you could hate me on, hit subscribe and hit the like button because that will show me that I'm totally wrong.